So today I'm just going to do a what's in my bag, what's in my purse video because this video has been requested quite a lot so I thought I'd just do it and get it done for you guys. So this is my bag. I've probably shown it in a couple of my other videos and so it's just a vintage leather handbag. It was my mum's and now it's mine because she passed it on to me. And so it's just a leather patchwork um, style with longish arms. And yeah, because I usually just purchase handbags and then I use them until they break because I carry a lot of things that are really heavy and everything. So I find that my bags break really, really easily. So I just tend to change them every so often. So this is my new favorite handbag, which I've been using for, I think, about a month now. And it still seems to be holding on tight. So hopefully it will last me. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly run through. Um, I have a lot of weird and random things in here because I haven't cleaned out my bag for a couple of weeks now. So it's been a couple of good weeks of collecting things in here. So I, I thought it would just be interesting if I just showed you what normally happens. And so you'd actually probably be surprised. I don't carry a lot of cosmetics or anything like that, but I'll show you right now. So beginning, the first thing which I have in here is a hard drive. So it's just to store everything and I usually have a really big one so that when I go to uni, uni which is school um, or college I can download all my lectures so they're quite big files so they fit onto a hard drive. Then, okay, this, I don't usually have this but this is a model which I have. I think I just broke it. That was my last one so it's just a model. Then I have just a little visual diary for drawings and everything. Then I have trace paper, which is just baking paper but non-greasy, so then you can trace on it. Then I have camera for sites and everything so I can take pictures. Then I have set square so that you can draw at different angles. Um, circle template. Scale rules, wooden and metal for cutting. Then tape to tape down my drawings when you do draw. This is pretty much an architecture bag. You can see a Stanley knife. And no, it's not to cut people, it's to cut my cardboard. Except it is quite safe, especially when I'm leaving at like 2 o'clock in the morning and I have to walk to my car at uni. It's not the safest place. So it's probably good that I have a knife. Then I have a little pencil case with just all my... Leads, clutch pencil, a razor shield, and just different things like that. Then I have my sunglasses, nice and big. And then I have water bottle, because it's always good to drink water. Then I have PVA glue, so then I can glue my models. Then I have iPod. Then I have my purse, which is a guess zebra print purse. Ooh, I'll show you my things. And then uh, my little ruler. Oh, my little concept model. It's going to be a hill. I know it doesn't look like much now, but it sits like. And it just reads up, and then you can actually like walk on top, which I think is pretty cool. And then I have a piece of scrunched paper, a plastic bag with nothing in it, some Anzac biscuits, <laughs> um, mints, um, an apple, an invitation, lipstick, a nice pinky toned light pink colour, very neutral, highlighter, tuna, um, blistex, gum, sharpener, panadol, rapid, this is the only stuff that works for me for when I get a little bit sick. I have lots of rubbish, so I'm not going to take that out. And I have one more zip. 
I have a phone. See, it's ten twelve. Um, then I have. I think that's it. Oh, bobby pin. Yep, and that's it. So that's what's in my bag. Hopefully that was fun to watch. Probably not. But anyway, hope you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.